So yeah, next week oh, we'll wait. have uh, we back on? Richard Carrier and Chris Johnson on the show after the Bat Cruise. To, to Before the Bat Cruise. Before the Bat Cruise. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the next the day. Yeah, after the Bat Cruise. We do, the, we do the lecture and then the Bat Cruise, and then the next day we do the show right. with both of them. <laughs> there you go. I should have mentioned that then. Okay. Uh, can you throw me line four? No, wait, line one. That one's on. Hey, Dan? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm afraid the show's over. You called in a little too late. Uh, you're welcome yeah. to call in next week, or you can just hit me with your topic now, but we're going to head for dinner pretty soon. Sure, I can throw you the topic, at least to prepare you for the next show if I call in. Um, the topic is uh, basically, well, I start by saying I'm a theist. Um, and the topic is basically my worldview and um, I guess how, how I actually come to accepting that a God is real in the first place. Um, but also, um, first, I think um, it's a scientific question, too. And uh, I think before you can even try to make the uh, claim that a god exists, you need to have a definition of it. I agree. And that's so, okay. sort of an issue because I don't think everyone has the same definition of God. So, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, but I, I think uh, it could be done with the sensitivity to uh, there being, you know, if everyone were to answer a survey or, uh, you know, come up with their own definition, that there would be some coherent um, uh, definition. I don't believe truth is determined by a survey. All you could find out with a survey is right. that a bunch but of people we need, think the same we, thing. We still need uh, something to, to, to use to define that, right? I mean, if we're going to make a scientific claim. Yeah, I think if, um, even if you sort of came up with a definition that, that most people kind of would, who believe in a God would agree with, I think it would end up being so vague that it, you know, it would be almost meaningless. Right, but I think that that also uh, helps because um, if, you have, if you can only say narrow it down to one thing that we can all agree on, say God is mm -hmm. love, for example, because I think that's the true quality. And I, I believe in love, but I don't call it God. Right, right. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't yeah. say like, I'm just saying that that, that's a, that, that would be a characteristic. Yeah. Right? Not necessarily all um, of the... But too, it, the too thing big is, a topic is you want to come up with a minimum show. requirement, too, right? Too big a topic for the after show. I think you should call back next week. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, when, when we have a little bit more time. Yeah, see ya. Uh, I, I don't know if I should try hitting buttons again. <laughs> it couldn't hurt to try. Give me four. There, it's on. Uh, we got Greg. Greg, Greg in Berkeley. Yeah. yeah. What's up? Well, I just had a quick question. I just wondered what you thought about the, uh, I read, I've been reading a lot about the Air Force and how yeah. somebody protested against, uh, they weren't going to let him re-enlist because he wouldn't uh, do an oath. Right, yeah, I've heard that. So I help heard, me God. Yeah, and then I also I also saw a video of these Marines doing like a, having like a I don't know like a, a revival meeting about about uh, Islam. I just wondered what you thought about the uh, the involvement of the military with the with religion. Uh, I'm against it. Wow, good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I mean, I just don't understand how that how that oath was in place in the first place. I, you know how that's there in the first place. It's probably been there a long time, just like uh, juries have to, uh, and uh, people who testify in court have to say, so help me God. It's it's or just a... Supposedly, a, but they it, can also affirm. Yeah, but by default, you right. know, that everyone's given the same oath, and I think it's been around a long time. I'm, you know, I'm fine with people in the military practicing their own religion. I don't think it should be coerced or, you know, but the officers require... Kind of I mean... I'm, I'm just thinking that this almost looks like that makes it almost look like this looks like this is a crusade. Yeah. Going on in the Middle East. And I'm a, I'm against you know uh, military people being required to participate in religious rituals. I, that's right. uh, definitely clearly a state church separation issue. I think. Okay. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. I just wondered what you thought about it. Okay. Now you got to get to dinner. Okay. All right. Thanks, Greg.